You didn't even find any treasure, huh? None that we found. I'm sure it has to be somewhere. Perhaps it'd be wise if you just went back and looked for it. I wanted to, but Frisco wouldn't let me. Ah, oh, Frisco's still looking out for Auntie Helen. Ha. Sorry we wouldn't. We'll put you in on that a little mm -hmm. sooner. We felt the less people that knew, the better. Oh, right. of course, I understand. It was actually kind of funny when you think about it. Is it? Well, I mean, here I am thinking that Aunt Helen is being overbearing and overprotective on these two, when in fact it's the other way around. Yeah, she's a pretty funny character, wasn't she? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was a bitch. You know, you should have seen this place we said. But Donnelly was his name. Why do you Killer say that? Bullet was well, the way she, uh, she was always butting into other people's affairs. Hmm. Yeah, quite, quite a great job of acting she did with um, Anne Helen. Is that what it was? So are you and Tony seeing one another now? Oh, yes, Tony and I have been for a while. Oh, well, that just goes to show you how wrong a girl can be. What do you mean? Well, I could have swore you liked Frisco all along you liked Tony. <laughs> also confusing, isn't it? Do I have some coffee in the kitchen, Frisco? <laughs> yeah. Do you really think I'm going to leave those two alone in there? Well, I think it's uh, time you can handle yourself. Well, you're pretty cool. I know my girl. Oh. The girl of the moment, huh? Guess again. Okay. The girl of the hour. No, the girl of my life. And that's just a to you in case you have some second thoughts about Tanya. Are you worried? I just hope for Felicia's sake you're not using her to make Tanya jealous. Or some other dumb plan, maybe? Well, I'm not going after Tanya. If that's what you're driving at. Good, because if you do, I'll fight you for it. Whoa, brother. You are serious. Absolutely. Well, good luck. Thank you. And if you like Mexico so well, then why don't you just go on back there? You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you? Tanya, we need to get back to the hospital. Oh, that's too bad. We're just getting to know one another. Oh, I'm certain we'll see each other again. I hope not. Come on. Let's go. Stay here. Well, it's been really nice seeing you guys. First first thing home. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you look nice, calm. Have a good trip to the hospital. Mm -hmm. You have a good trip at home. I don't like that girl. Well, you better get used to her because she's going to be around a lot. No, she was right about one thing, though. Hmm. Maybe I should have stayed in Mexico. Then I could be looking for the treasure. Ooh, I've got all my stuff completely organized. Oh, well, that's great. What's the matter with you? Why were you so mean to Tanya? She makes it so easy. You were pretty rough on her. She's a good person. I feel like the well-groomed, boring type. Mm. I think you're jealous. Of Tanya? Oh, don't make me laugh. She was just trying to be nice. She was nasty. What do you expect? You were mean to her. I don't really want to talk about Tanya. Well, I, I'd like to talk about it a little bit. So talk. I'm leaving. No. No, you're not. Don't treat me like you're a prisoner. Oh, quit being so melodramatic. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, just peel back, sit down, because I'm going to fix you something to eat. Okay? Oh, no. no, I know. You didn't hardly eat anything all morning, and you can't go looking for apartments on an empty stomach. Sit tight, and I'll whip something up. You know, I have to admit, this is really pretty nice. What? Oh, that you're so protective of me. Well, when are you going to get it through your thick, royal head that, for some reason, I like to be? Such a way with words. Don't talk while I'm cooking.